Hi Scorpio, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of July the 31st to August the 7th, 2017. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I can do that in a private reading. So I invite and welcome you to go push that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a Reiki session. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos. We start our week off on Monday, Scorpio, with a water card, and you have been given the five of water. And water cards are our relationship cards, and sometimes they're intimate and sometimes they're not. But it does show me that some of you are in a relationship, and some of you have been in and out of this relationship for quite some time. And you've hung in, and you've been living the dream that things would improve, but things are not turning out the way you would hope. And you can't seem to pick now a positive thing out of this situation and this relationship now. So they talk about it being and being referred to as spilt milk. So you know how easily that is to wipe up spilt milk. So you know, my friend, what you need to do. So blessings as you move forward and move on. Eight of air for Tuesday. And air cards have to do with the injustice that people bring into our lives and those challenges that they stir the pot up with. And we're faced with making fair and just decisions and choices that are involved around these individuals. Also, it can have to do with the legal system. This is about justice and lawyers and, uh, and courts and things like that. I do see some of you have been dealing with these challenging issues and you're really getting tired out and you almost feel like you're being trapped in a situation that you lack self-confidence and you're afraid to take action. You seem to be stuck. Please know the word they use that when they refer to this being trapped is an illusion. You can do this, my friend. Page of fire for Wednesday, crowning your week. And fire cards have to do with mainly self, our personal self-development and also about um, <clears throat> taking risks we normally wouldn't take. It's about, uh, you know, setting our creative juices into motion and going places we normally wouldn't go, AE and adventure. This is telling me there's some news coming in to some of you. And they refer to it actually as exciting news coming in. And it has to do with a new project or a new uh, a new, new endeavor that you're wanting to get involved in or someone's tipping you off to this. Uh, you're going to be able to use your own ingenuity and your own originality uh, when this endeavor, this, this exciting news arrives on your doorstep. Air card again for Thursday, the five of air. And this is telling me there's a choice that you need to make. But before you make this choice, you need to review everyone's options, okay? Everyone's motives. In, uh, review all your options here and learn what you can from this situation because if you don't do that, you don't do your homework and your investigative work, they refer to this as an unwise choice. Be careful, okay? Friday, nine of fire, another self-development card. And it's showing me that for some reason, some of you are being put up on the platform and you're being called up on the carpet. People are questioning your morals and your and, and uh, what you stand for and what you believe in and your integrity and whatever. Please, please, please don't give up, okay? Your guides and angels are, are uh, sending that message here, uh, the divine sources that be in the universe, that you need to protect what you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Don't let these people do this to you, okay? Don't give up. Strength. How ironic that that would come up after that uh, nine of fire and this is a major card and this is telling me that some of you don't believe you're as strong as you truly are and sometimes you've lost and, and along the way some of you have lost a little bit of your self-worth and your self-confidence to move forward and, and stand up for yourself and do that that's what the nine of fire was saying you need to do this it's about greater inner strength and releasing any harsh judgments that are holding you back okay they're showing me that in order to be strong you have to be uh, forgiving and compassionate, okay? They're wanting you to be strong in a softer manner, okay? Strength is within, all right? We have to dig strength within. You need to know that you're stronger than you realize and you can handle this situation, but you need to handle it with kindness, okay? Compassion and gentleness and patience. 
and forgiveness because you know this is that card that talks about honey in respect to vinegar. Two of earth for the final day of the week on Sunday and the earth cards are to do with the material part of our lives, often our jobs and professions and careers and how we bring that abundance into our lives but it's also about mother earth people that deal with the ecosystem and nature and our closest circle which of course is our intimate family or people we feel close enough to bring into that circle. But if this one is showing me that there's a lot going on and it shows me that some of you have a major decision to make right now. There's too much going on at once. It's like everything's coming at you at once and you're having a hard time dealing with all this. But when you make this decision, step back, take a deep breath, ask the divine sources that be to guide you when you make this decision and you'll be calmer okay you're going to be more at ease you're going to be more confident and you're not going to be so riled up because they say you need to make this decision actually in a more playful manner at the end of the reading uh, the, uh, the deck that I chose today is a new deck that I got and it's called Saints and Angels and of course it's by Doreen Virtue and it is an oracle deck and they gave you this. The message comes from your guardian angel that you need to do this more. Sweetness, okay? Sometimes life makes us harden up. Sometimes life makes us bitter. We need to let that go because innately inside you, you're very, very sweet Scorpio and you do so much good for everybody else and you think of others before yourself. I know that about the Scorpion sign and personal people I know, but know that you need to be sweet to yourself too because sometimes the world does get harsh and we tend to forget that we're important too and you need to start doing things, little things for yourself that bring you back to that sweetness part of you and, and, and bringing you your peace and your contentment. So remember, be sweet to yourself as well. I wish you a great remainder to today, my friend, and a wonderful, optimistic week again to look forward to. I leave you with this. Life is going by. Don't waste a minute being negative, being offended, or being bitter. Please choose, my friend, to be happy. See you again next week and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, Scorpio, my friend.